Hi beauties, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. I am doing another Dollar Tree DIY from the previous haul that I had done. And I just saw this little um, wall sticker and I thought it was so cute. It's going to make that little heart there so you can see it. I know I don't have a big, huge production. Um, I've been hearing that a lot lately, but this is what I have. And if you if you like what I'm bringing you, please make sure you subscribe. And if you like any of my stuff, make sure you give me a thumbs up. So I'm using that wall art. And then I got this 11 by 14 frame. If you do any Dollar Tree um, purchasing at all, you know all about these frames. So I'm just gonna take some scissors and open this up. That didn't open up very well. And I'm not worried about this cardboard because I'm actually um, thinking I won't use this. This is just something that I'm thinking, I'm hoping that it's gonna come together. Uh, we're gonna see it together. So let's see what we can do. Sorry about any glare. Any of that, anything I can apologize for, let me apologize in advance as far as production. So I'm just gonna take these scissors and pull these guys back. That way we can get, that way we can get this cardboard and stuff out of there. Um, this is one of the frames that I used for my prayer board and um, and it works really well. It can dry erase even though it's plastic, which is nice. So I don't think I'm gonna be using it, but I'm gonna keep it just in case until this is over with. I'm gonna pull this guy out. And we've got this little guy. Oh, this one is, this one is glass. So the other one I had, maybe I bought it at Michael's last time. Maybe because it is a little bit bigger now that I'm thinking about it. So be very careful. This is glass. You don't want to cut yourself. So if you want to, they have this black frame. They also have a brown frame. You can paint it if you like, but I'm going to go with the black because some of my stuff is black. So I'm going to kind of center it to where I want it so you're not going to be seeing this, but that's okay. I'm not going to have anything really there. I am going to put it a little bit more toward the top. And I'm just using my grid sheet as um, a way to line this up. So I've decided that I want to do this heart here, but I don't know exactly how big it is. So let's just measure the longest part. So it's, a, uh, it's about four inches wide. I'm assuming that this one is also four inches wide, yes. Okay. So if I'm going to have that at four inches wide, I need to do a little bit of math here. And this is 11. Midpoint would be five and a half. So let's see. So we're going to go right about here is where we want to start that first part of the heart. So I'm going to move it over just one grid and I know that this grid is where I want it to start. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to cut this off because there are some other stickers there and I don't just want to pull it off all haphazardly. I want to do it so there's no bubbles. So I'm going to open this part up and this is a clear sticker. So if you wanted to change the color or anything like that, you totally could. And I'm just going to bend this back a little bit to position it where I want, because I want it to be straight for the most part. And I want it to be a little bit higher, so I think that will be good. I'm 
and I'm just putting this on there. Now I'm going to take this ruler, I'm going to kind of just roll it along and pull at the same time. And there you go, it's all on there nice. And look, it went on there pretty darn straight, so I'm really happy with that. So I have no other stickers on this one, so I'm just going to toss that away. On this one, I'm going to cut again out these little stickers here because I only want to be working with the heart at this point. I'm going to save that off to the side. Now I'm going to pull on this side of the heart because I want these two to line up perfectly. So I don't want to try and start from this side. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull that back. And that way you're working with everything you need. So I'm going to first go here and get this straightened out. And I'm just going to try and line everything up properly. And I'm not going to push down anything at all at this point. I really want this ampersand to line up properly. That's for some reason is my most important. And I think that is nice. Everything is lined up so you can see there. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull this over, stick it underneath, and just start rolling it out. I don't even have to move this part with the other hand. It just comes out nice and neat like that. So that has made a beautiful little heart there. And I'm going to take these because I'm looking and it just has like this little curly cue here and then it has two little curlies coming out the side. And I thought that was really cute so I'm going to do that as well. So on this one, it's not very big, and it kind of is awkward, so I am just going to take this one out and set it on there. So I'm going to line up my heart just along this grid line, and I'm going to start one, two, like three over, and I'm just going to put it right down there. There we go. And then I'm going to get the other one and do the exact opposite. And with this grid paper, I could see exactly where it's lined up. So I'm going to do the same as I did here. So right here. Does that look right? Let me see here. No, it was right here. There we go. And just again lining it up to where everything looks proper on the grid lines. So there we go. I'm going to get that white piece of paper back so you could see it. Look at how pretty that looks. It's all lined up rather nice. That's nice. Now, I could, if I want, leave the white, but I'm going to try it with just the clear glass first and see how that works. But I do have... Um, this ribbon, now this ribbon, you can buy a ribbon at the Dollar Tree. I did not because I had this from a grab bag. 
So this was in one of my Michael's grab bags. You can see the haul um, if you're interested. I'm just going to pull out a length. It doesn't matter. It just depends on how long you want it. We'll try a bow, but if the bow doesn't work, then I'm not too worried. So I'm going to be very careful and just set this off to the side for one moment. And I'm going to take this here. I have my hot glue going just in case. I'm going to run this through like this. I'm going to do the same. Ah, sorry. This is what I meant to do. I'm going to go like this, through like this. But I want them on either side of these little nubs here. So I'll show you that here. Just one moment. Okay. So these little things, I want them on either side. And if I need to glue it down, I can. But for right now, I'm just checking to see if this is the look I want. So I'm going to move this back now. I'm going to set these off to the side. And I'm going to get that glass back. I'm just going to pop that glass right back in there. Be very careful not to hurt yourself. And if these little guys stick, just pull them away a little bit with some scissors. And then you'll just pop these back down. It's really quick, really easy. Two dollars plus some thread if that's what you're wanting. And that's it. I'll show you a picture at the end. So from here, whoop, I want to put this where you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to turn this around. From here, you just want to... <laughs> You're just going to take these two ends and you'll make a bow. So you don't have to worry about any of this because you're going to be pulling that through. You can just manipulate your bow however you like. I want the polka dots to be showing. Then you're just going to pull that through. And you can have that like this if you'd like. Or you can do it the exact opposite and have this part up and the bow down. Um, so I'm gonna keep that like that and I'll go ahead and show you guys a picture. Now, I don't have a problem with these little guys showing through, but if you do, you could take some of that ribbon and put it along the side and just glue, glue it like this if you want to. 
see there. Super cute like that too. Holy smokes, I wonder if I wanna do that. I think I'm going to test it like this first and if I don't like it, then I will go ahead and change that. But I'll go ahead and show you this picture. I'm gonna hang it up on the wall so you can see it. And then here you guys, if you haven't seen my last video um, from Dollar Tree DIY, make sure you check it out. You'll wanna follow me on Instagram at Jean Persani because I'm doing a giveaway from that last video. All right, beauties, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future videos, and I'll talk to you later.